Hello guys, welcome back to a little bit more of Vanilla World of Warcraft, in which I'm attempting to level a hunter. How difficult can it be? So, um, my dwarf hunter, now level 11, and has got himself a bear. Huzzah! I tell you, something that was the hardest thing I've done for a very long time is actually level a hunter to 10 without actually having a pet. So anyway, we've got ourselves a bear and we're going to continue. To sort of break the monotony of my boring, droning voice, the next few videos, uh, all taken from the live stream I did, if you uh, haven't checked out my live stream, it's uh, twitch.tv forward slash crazy ass gaming, or is it backslash, anyway, you can work it out, crazy ass gaming. Uh, I do a live stream on there a couple of times a week, so if you want to catch me during the live stream, come and say hi, please feel free. Stop my boring droning voice. I'm going to play you some of the podcasts that I was listening to back in Vanilla WoW. Well, Vanilla WoW on TVC. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy. And I will catch you on the flip side. Addictions can be a destructive and terrible thing. Don't fear. There are ways of getting help. The first stage to getting help is admitting that you have a problem. The second stage is actively seeking help, most often found in the group of peers sharing the same problem. Whoa, 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 hold on a second, hold on a second, stop, no, stop, stop, stop the music, stop. We don't have a problem. Yeah, we can stop whenever we want. We, we just, just don't, don't want, want to. to. Welcome to Warcraft Anonymous on WCRadio.com. It's 7 p.m. the east, midnight across the pond. It's time to tune in, turn up, and zone out. Hello, I'm Hiko. And I'm Relvis. And you are listening to Warcraft Anonymous. Without a... This was a completely smooth introduction to our show. Nothing Absolutely wrong. Absolutely nothing went wrong whatsoever. Uh, and if you say any different, well, that's lies and slander. So welcome to the show, the new improved show with new improved music beds that we are Improving about 25% guaranteed to not run over. Uh, so there's still a big 75% chance that we'll run over our music beds again. But uh, we'll, 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 I guess we'll just see how that goes and turns out in about here in about 20 minutes when uh, this music bed runs out. So before we get to content, because yes... We're going to make a habit out of this. We do have a little tiny bit of content. And it actually is more than just topic one on our show notes. And uh, I can't hear. I can't see your volume up at all, Rail. Can you go ahead and try to say something real quick? Make sure we can get Yeah, set. yeah, unprofessionally trying to uh, do mic checks on the air. Oh, there we go. Unprofessionally trying to do mic checks on the air. What were you saying, Rail? About I was content? saying, you know, about our content's going to be more than just uh, topic one on the show notes today. We actually have content to talk about. Yes, it does. We do. Whatever that is. And I am totally ignoring my cell phone this time. Um, so, how was your week, Railvis, before we get into anything that was, uh, that's, you know, new and exciting in the world of Warcraft? Uh, my week's pretty good, actually. I went to uh, see World, uh, world of Warcraft. I went to see Weird Al in concert um, in the town next to us. And uh, it was definitely rocking. He played for two and a half hours. I uh, picked up myself, myself a nice shirt that says white and nerdy on it. That's his kind of his new hit song, and I've definitely been blaring that in my car and driving around campus trying to look really cool. Uh, yes, chicks. trying to thump around campus in your PT Cruiser with white and nerdy playing. Uh, I, I can see what you're going for with that. Um, girls love it. Yeah, you know, we also went and saw Resident Evil Extinction, and uh, we, we might take a minute or two to uh, kind of gripe about it a little bit, but if so, we'll give you a full spoiler warning. So if you haven't seen it and you want to, uh, you, you can know how to, when to tune out and all that jazz. Um, otherwise, for those of you who have stuck around from max speed, you were witness to the first after show show. I was about to use the acronym, and that would have ended horribly. You, can, you all can use your imaginations on what I was talking about when, we ha when I mentioned acronym, but that's right. The After Show Show with Speedy F40, Max Maps, Hiko, and Railvis. It was a good time. That's going to become a kind of new thing right after Max Speed, going into our fantastic mu musical pre-show. Uh, we hope to do it a little more smoothly than we had tonight. Yeah, well, all things in time. Actually, Railvis and I, for those of you who didn't listen to the After Show Show, we didn't know about the After Show Show 
until Speedy and Max mentioned it on the air. Uh, like we didn't know we were actually doing it tonight. I thought it was just in the we thought it was just in the planning stages. So uh, that was completely, you know, unprepared for and unscripted. Kind of like every show that we intend to do here. It's actually uh, the story of my life. And that is the story of your life. Grossly underprepared. So, welcome to our show. You are listening to Warcraft Anonymous on WCRadio.com. Go ahead and pop into the IRC channel and chat with us. If you're not there already, you can get there by heading to the show page. Oh, I'm sorry, www.wcradio.com. Clicking on the chat pane and either using the web client or joining Hash or Pound Wow Radio in IRC. Today we're going to start off by picking up where we left off with last show, with last show's self-help topic, which was, how do you keep World of Warcraft interesting? And uh, I have some unprecedented news, uh, Relvis. What's that? We got an email from The Rock. That's right, we got an email from The Rock. Uh, I I mean, I was was absolutely thrilled. I mean, I've heard The Rock right into Octale and Hordak. But never did I think that we would be graced with The Rock on only our first show, no less. And even now he's in our, our inbox. He is. And it, we should frame that. Uh, yes, that can go right next to the hate mail that we got last week. And uh, disappointingly, the hate mail was, was kind of... It wasn't inspiring. It, it, it didn't really hit me as hate mail really should. Uh, t Raw was nice enough to sh- send us some hate mail to kind of make up for the lack of luster that the original hate mail had. But, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to keep the hate mail framed up on my wall anymore. Anyway, The Rock writes, Welcome to WoW Radio, jabronis. The Rock here. The Rock is something of a role player, but mainly The wa- Rock wants to raid. The Rock is in a guild on Ice Crown US. Shout out to the Ancients Guild, and The Rock can't wait to raid with his character there. Signed, The Rock. So it's nice to know that The Rock keeps WoW interesting, by raiding, which is something that Railvis doesn't at all do. I don't like raiding, because you bore me. Well, you could always raid with other people. No one's keeping you in our guild. You don't have to be there. You know, the row, row class leader. To go. No, that's, yeah. All right. Additionally, Bevarious, uh, probably slaughtered that, but we'll roll with it anyway, has a little bit of a wall of text at us in response to self-help topic, keeping WoW interesting. Bevarious writes, I have been dealing with this once I hit 70. First and foremost, there are a lot of things you can do to keep the game fresh. Thing big thing I... I, thing big thing I've done is to set up milestones for my tune's development, both in the long term and the short term. With so many things to do once you hit 70, I had to prioritize my in-game goals to actually be able to finish them. Once I hit 70, I worked for my flying mount, then my Kara key, and looked for a raiding guild, all the while getting what pre-Kara epics I could and learning about all the raid-related things for my class. Once I got into Karazhan, I got geared, got all my heroic keys, and also got a little burnt out. I took the guild's hiatus from raiding as a chance to level a new profession and slow grind my way to my epic flyer, all the while trying to get a little more PvP gear. Once I got my epic flyer, but after doing dailies and farming for a few months, I really felt slightly lost. The one thing in game that I thought I would never get was mine. Since we were only raiding sporadically again at this point, I decided to finish up my PvP non-set epics and get all the PvP gear from BGs and Areja that I can. Areja? Arena that I can. As we have been spending more time than PvPing than PvEing as a group lately. I also shifted my dailies to the Netherwing quest line, so I wasn't doing dailies just for the sake of dailies. I can get an oversized mount in the end. So in the near term, I plan on rounding out my PvP gear, and in the long run, I plan on leveling up a healer alt. Good for you. Which is something he's never done in almost 11 months of playing. Getting into Zulamon and doing arena with guildies more seriously. My two cents, and that wall of text that crits for, that's right, over 9,000. Be various, we wipe on, from We Wipe on Trash, Norganon Alliance. P.S. Shout out to the return of The Wookiee to the guild. Congratulations, The Wookiee. Uh, we are hope that you are welcome. And thank you, Bevirius, for that excellent uh, self-help topic. You know, that is one thing that you can do to keep busy and go out and grind for a shiny, specifically your epic flying mount. Or, you could be like Railvis and borrow 4,500 gold from a guildie and buy your flying mount. And then, and, and then grind to pay it back. And well, I'm still, it's the excruciating pain that I'm still going through. Uh, I no longer owe 4,200 gold, though. I've, I've rounded true. it down to 2,400 gold, and it's only taken me a long time. Congratulations. He was actually the first one in the guild to get our epic flyer. 
uh, get their epic flyer, and he's still paying it back. So the man who hates grinds and who hates boringness uh, is stuck on a grind with absolutely with very little payoff in the end. But hopefully he'll be able to pay it off before Wrath of the Lich King. Otherwise he'll make all sorts of money, um, you know, leveling up to eighty. Well, okay. I can really much relate to the uh, the PvP point that was brought up in that email. You know, coming up with PvP is something to do as well as kind of a rep grind. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the rep grind too because it's the same, you know, kill these 20 mobs over and over and over again. But finding some interesting things in BGs, yeah, the point to each BG is always the same, but it's going to be different enough every time you get into a BG and you get some cool gear that you're not going to otherwise get. You know, I can't raid or I don't raid. I could raid. I don't raid. So I have to look to get my gear other places and, and PvP is where I like to find my gear. And, uh, you know, that's the great thing about PvP is that it... You're fighting against other people, so they're not programmed. They're not, you know, predetermined, oh, I will attack you for this, and then uh, five seconds later I'll do a cleave or anything like that. You actually have to think, and it keeps you a little bit more intellectually engaged than just grinding mobs do. All right. Simon, from level 41 Night Elf Druid on Twilight's Hammer EU writes, Hey, Hiko and Relvis. Simon, Level 41 Night Elf Druid here on Twilight's Hammer EU. I'm pretty sure I just said that, but whatever. I was listening to your podcast, and I thought that I might just email about you about how I keep WoW interesting. I've rolled many characters during my WoW lifetime, such as my 40 Torn Shaman on Stormrage called Silver Titan, deleted. A 58 Blood Elf Hunter called Silver Titan on Hellfire, deleted. My Level 70 Torn Shaman called Okeana? Okania? on Karazhan, inactive, and last but not least, my level 41 Night Elf Druid, Simon. As you can see from the pattern I have made, I live WoW for the leveling. I may be strange, but I will level a character for fun. Also, every time I roll a new character, I do it quicker and get further each time. On my level 70 Shaman, I didn't do any raid content because the group instances were hard to find and make. Now that I can be a tank, things will hopefully be different. Please shout out to... Shout out remove because Max Speed stole it from us. Curse you, Speedy and Max. And uh, we're going to give you a new shout out in place of that. Shout out to Bluetooth level 48 priest on Twilight Hammer EU because he is social and that's amazing. Uh, well, hope they read this and have a good day night. Simon, consider it red. I think uh, an interesting point in this one, again, has been a topic on the, the edge of people's minds is the fact that you know Blizzard is increasing the rate at which you can level because they're increasing the ease at which you can get XP and level. So I, I hope that makes them very happy that they'll not only be able to level alts faster because they can do it every time anyway, but now it'll be like super fast speed. Okay, Anya, yeah, thank you for the correction there, Simon. And uh, or is, and anyway, yes, they are speeding it up a little bit. But, you know, for people who are out there for the prestige of leveling, you know, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it'll be a little bit less grind. It'll be even more enjoyable. Especially seeing by doing that, by making it faster, they're adding in new quests. So, all right, that's all we have for self-help topics for last show. Today's self-help topic is we don't have a self-help topic yet. We'll let you know that after the first music break. But before we get into our content, it's time for another exciting episode of Find Railvis. I, I am somewhere hidden on a server again. I'm not on my main anymore. Last week I was on my main. I was hiding out in the middle of Ratchet on my level 70 rogue. This time I'm hiding on another server on the Horde side. It is a US server, and I am on a level 1 tune. So uh, no armory for you folks out there. This is good old-fashioned sleuthing. Uh, we'll, we'll be throwing out some hints because this is likely to be a little bit more... Difficult, and actually, you know, I'm looking at uh, my interface here because when I'm doing the show, I use Hiko's uh, laptop, and there's so many mods on here and so many add-ons. I have no idea what to do with them all. <laughs> yeah, he didn't actually turn off any of the mods when he rolled the new alt. So all of the mods that I have just hanging around in my interface folder that I don't use and that I just have been too lazy to delete. Uh, are, they're all just taking over his screen, and it's actually quite amusing. I'm surprised he can actually see his tune. I'm pretty sure he won't be able to respond to any of you in whispers, because uh, there's I, probably mods in there that make it impossible. I don't actually see a chat window. So here's what I'm going to have you guys do. If you're in MIRC, um, let me know by, uh, you know, find some way to get me a JPEG. You can email it to us at our... 
Our email address, which is warcraftanonymous at gmail.com. And I can spell it this time. I won't forget any of the N's. W-A-R-C-R-A-F-T-A-N-O-N-Y-M-O-U-S at gmail.com. Whew. That was pressure. I, I missed the N last time. And I probably had like 15... All of the hate mail we got from the beginning of the show was probably sent to that email address. So, you know, I guess it's probably a good thing that I forgot. Um, because <laughs> otherwise we would have been inundated with a lot of more gory mail than we had before. I agree. Um, and so... Again, take a picture if you can find me. I'm hidden someplace on some server. Email it to us. Get an MIRC. Drop a whisper to Cooked Auto, our IRC rep. He's really awesome. He didn't know that I was going to have you guys PM him, so PM him like crazy and let him know that you have found me and that you have sent us a JPEG that we need to go check out, and he can let me know. All right, spectacular. we have any other loose ends that tie up? I think that covers everything so far. All right, good. I think we'll probably omit the Resident Evil griping because this isn't Resident Evil Anonymous. This is Warcraft Anonymous. So we're here to talk about Warcraft stuff. And, you know, as a side note, Warcraft Anonymous uh, has some references there. Don't necessarily meet him, but that leads us to our first content topic of the day, which I have called on my show notes... Hooked on Warcraft worked for me. How do you get hooked on Warcraft? How do other people get hooked on Warcraft? How to keep a healthy balance between being a Warcraft addict and just being somebody that plays a lot? And how to ultimately, uh, you know, stop playing Warcraft. We're not going to touch that one very hard, very much, because we don't like it. And uh, again, if you have some input on this, feel free to uh, message Cooked Auto, our IRC rep in MIRC, and let him know what you think, and he will let us know what you think, and we all know what you think. Um, Maybe we'll tell I everyone I really else. hope Cooked Auto is okay with this, because I haven't actually... Did you actually check with him? Or nope. Are... nope. Okay. Uh, throwing ourselves and Cooked Auto into the fire. Uh, if... if... We have a new IRC rep next week. Uh, you'll know it's because we're horrible, horrible people. Uh, and we abuse our show uh, our show reps. So. We heart you, though. We, we love you, Cooked Auto. Good luck. Best of luck. All right. Hooked on Warcraft worked for me. Before we get into what all of that means, Railvis, how did you get hooked on World of Warcraft? It was a horrible, horrible story. No, actually, it wasn't that bad. My, my friends here at the university were trying to get me to play World of Warcraft. Like, oh, you gotta check out this game. It's this awesome thing. You go around playing this little character. I'm like, no, that's all right. It doesn't sound like something I really like. I'm like, no, you really gotta try it. And they had me, like, watch them play it. And I'm not a big video game watcher, but it's like, okay. So I watched them play. I was like, oh, this looks kind of cool. Like, yeah, it's only 15 bucks a month to play. I'm like, uh, I'm not sure that I really want to pay $15 a month to play some video game online. So I was like, well, um, you know, that's nice and all, but I'm going to stay away from it. And finally, when I ended up graduating with my bachelor's, I moved in with a roommate of mine. It's like, oh, it's a 10-day free trial. you got to try this. I'm like, well, everyone else is trying to get me to try it. I'll do the 10-day free thing. I'll, I'll give it a shot. And at least after that, I can quit and, and tell people I tried it and that I didn't want to do it. So, you know, 10-day free trial. I get to level 21 on a priest. And uh, I got hooked. And uh, I started making my own account. And I've been playing for about two and a half years. You know, that seems to be kind of the general story. And if you want to go ahead and PM either Cooked Auto or myself uh, to lighten the load on him during the music break that's coming up with how, how you got hooked into Warcraft, please do. But I was much the same way. I hated the idea of World of Warcraft. I thought that MMOs were just not the way to go. And that old style RPGs... Um, the series that got me hooked on RPGs was Fantasy Star. Props to anyone out there that played that series. A huge fan of 2 and 4 myself, 4 moreover, way back on the Sega Genesis. But it just the, war the paying monthly for something like that wasn't for me. I had tried Fantasy Star Online on the Dreamcast way back when the Dreamcast was the next-gen system. So and, my god, uh, Dreamcast! Just, oh my god, it's Dreamcast! And then Sega died. But I just... It didn't work for me. So, I come to school, and I don't play it. And then, I met Relvis. That's right, he was like, oh, I play WoW, it's awesome. I'm like, no, 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 I don't want to do it. But, my girlfriend did. 
She wanted to give it a shot. She wanted to see what it was like. So, for her birthday or her anniversary, I don't remember what, uh, <clears throat> I got her an account. She started playing, and I made a level one tune on her account, and it's like, hey, uh, that's pretty cool. She gave me a 10-day trial. Railvis got me into it, and my girlfriend pressured me, and I've been playing ever since. All right. So that's how we got hooked. When we come back from the break, we're going to talk about what the line is between hooked, addicted, and just playing for fun. And maybe share some of your stories on how you got hooked in World of Warcraft. But now, we are going to slide on over to a music break. Hey, oh wait. my god, we didn't run into the music bed. What's this? The music bed? It's not over. Oh. So folks, enjoy this. We got some, a little, it's a little bit different than what we were playing in the pre-show, but hope you enjoy nonetheless. We'll see you on the flip side. And we are back. We being Hiko and Relvis on Warcraft Anonymous. So, what do you think of our first, you know, our first show where our first music break went off without a hitch? Yeah, we didn't even run into it, or it didn't run into us. There was no running. There was no running at all, except perhaps running to the restroom. All right, before the break, we were talking about being hooked on Warcraft. What got us hooked? Uh, if there are any interesting stories about how you got hooked to war uh, to World of Warcraft, you can go ahead and PM them to myself, Cooked Auto. You can send any of the ones you receive over to us in the IRC channel. In fact, I have one. Oh, excellent. Let's hear it, Relvis. It's from Gata. He said, how I got hooked was I I was playing Final Fantasy XI, and I got to uh, into an argument about WoW versus Final Fantasy XI with my best friend, and he won, but in the last ditch effort to see if it was better, I tried to... I tried it, to see if it was. And now I'm hooked, and that's how I got hooked. Wow, nice. We have some Final Fantasy converts out there. That's nice to hear. Uh, I had one person almost find me. Al um, almost find you. Illyrian claimed that Illyrian found me. Oh, that's right. Illyrian did almost they, find him. They sent me a picture of a really cute kitty. Yes. But I'm afraid you cannot has Railvis, lolcat. Oh, and by the way, Speedy, if you're still listening to the stream, thank you. That's all I have to say. Thank you. For the rest of you who aren't in on that little bit there, ask me when you're older. So, we were talking about being hooked on Warcraft before the break. And, uh, I think the big thing that we want to discuss today is what the difference between being hooked, as in you enjoy it and you play a lot, and being addicted is. Uh, see, Railvis is addicted. I'm not addicted. I can stop any time I want. Oh, that's right. You, you just choose not to. Exactly. Um, that is actually pretty much where the line is drawn, and I really don't want to sound preachy, so I'm going to do my best to avoid it. But, uh, oh, wait. Here's your soap box. Oh, uh, thank you. I, I should probably stand on that uh, as I discuss this topic. Um, but no, be the important thing between being hooked on Warcraft and enjoying it a lot and playing it a lot and, you know, being addicted is just that being addicted generally has the, a lot of negative connotations where you lose friends and stuff like that. Now, don't get me wrong. I've lost friends. I lost Railvis um, because yeah, of didn't. my raid leading and I'm my, my horrible, horrible raid leading and he called me a jerk many, many times. But... You know, that hasn't actually led to anything other than the fact that we're doing a radio show together. He's, you actually he's, had me at hello. You know, I'm getting distracted again because once more you are being distracted by IRC again. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh? No, actually, I was, uh, I was just uh, interacting with some listeners who had some constructive ideas. That's not being distracted. That's, I just enjoy hearing you talk. Your voice is soothing to me, and that's why I don't want to raid with you. Uh, because it'll put you to sleep. Oh, thank you, Relvis. Uh, Simon PM'd me with the way he got hooked on to World of Warcraft. He says, the way I got hooked was, once upon a time I was playing RuneScape, which is shameful. Yes, it is. Shame on you. And my friend let me play WoW on his PC. Needless to say, he got hooked in two seconds, and he has rolled many characters ever since, as we found out in the self-help topic. The end. Thank you, Simon. Uh, so that seems to be a pretty general consensus. You kind of play it on a friend's computer, or you get the trial, and 
bam, you're, you're, you're sucked in, and you keep playing until, you know, something happens that kind of ruins the game for you. Um, actually, I was going to share another quick story. Illyrian said, luckily my girlfriend of the time worked at a land center, so I used to get a whole days, a whole lot of days free of game time. Free game time is always good, and that's ultimately the problem, you know. The, that's the whole idea. You go into a grocery store, and they got the people in the back with the little pigs in a blanket or whatever that you have in the back of the store, and, uh, oh, would you care to try a free sample? And knowing that if you, that you're going to eat it, and you're going to like it, and you're probably going to buy more of them. You're going to be awesome, yeah, and you're going to run down to the freezer aisle and buy 20 boxes because you were that amazing. Um, I'm getting PMs all over the place. A M I R C everywhere. It's, it's interesting because I'm looking through all of the, the PMs that I'm getting from Cooked and from some of the people out there in MIRC, and it seems like the general consensus is saying that a lot of people got hooked because one of their friends introduced them to the game. Um, you know, it's it seems like Blizzard's ad campaign in getting the 10-day free trial thing was the way to go. It's it wasn't work. so much that we had to paste, you know, Blizzard had to paste their ads everywhere and put it all over TV and this and that. It was pretty much word of mouth, which seemed to be the biggest kind of draw. Aside from the fact that it is a good game, otherwise there wouldn't be a radio station, or I'm sorry, a, a spectacular, awesome radio station like WCRadio.com dedicated to it. And one other message that is spectacular from Rusko, level 54 druid on Moonrunner. So I got hooked because this hot chick I knew wanted to ERP with me, but we had to be Torin. So thank you, Railvis. Ugh, I'm, I'm sorry. Thank you, Rusko, for that horrifying, horrifying revelation. I can't believe you're in my guild. That's spectacular. Thank you. Uh, Blood Spirit PM me and said, I got onto the WoW wagon when I played EVE Online with some friends, and one of them got a 10-day tri trial card from someone he knew, and he got hooked on it, insisted that he give kind of his 10-day free trial card to Blood Spirit, and that's how Blood Spirit got hooked. So it was kind of a, a chain hook. I give it to my friend, my friend gives it to you, you get hooked, ha ha ha. Well, you know, ultimately when everything's said and done, Bl the way Blizzard kind of spreads World of Warcraft is really good, because the, the idea is when you have a good product, it pretty much sells itself. All you have to do is you get the word out there, and that's exactly what the 10-day free trial system does. It gets the word out, gets friends to get friends to play World of Warcraft. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of debate going on, and y even in the new manual of psychological disability or not disabilities um what's the word i'm looking for relvis i i have no idea what the word is you're looking for psychological problems i guess world of warcraft is up there under the new title of internet addictions and a lot of people say oh world of warcraft is bad because it gets people addicted and then they don't shower and shower and that means people I didn't smell shower bad before i started playing world of warcraft yeah, world of warcraft had nothing to do with that in it fact, didn't. I didn't shower before the show. Not that I had to. I don't even know what a shower is, actually. Isn't that when it rains outside? That's when I do my, my bathing. <laughs> oh, thanks, Railvis, for that horrible, horrible image. Made all the much better that I'm actually by the fact that I'm sitting next to you. Anyway, um, what, where was I going with that, Railvis? I don't remember. I lost my train of thought thanks to your, the shower uh, tangent we went on. I, I don't know. I think you're just trying to play evil tricks to me because I keep getting people to PM me and I look back at you. And That's then exactly what I'm doing. I that know what you're up to. Yeah, that is I exactly. I see that you're getting distracted by well, IRC, I'm so I'm trying to see if you I'm can actually going to derail the derail what you were talking about and um, go on to the fact that you know I was looking at Guild Wars when that came out. It came out about the same time WoW did, and I was looking at Guild Wars as being the game that I would want to play. Uh, I had a couple of friends on campus that were playing Guild Wars. I'm like, hey, man, I could play World of Warcraft and pay 15 bucks a month for this lame game, or I could pay nothing to play Guild Wars, and nothing sounds better to me. You know, free is always better to me because I'm a poor college student. And again, it's the marketing strategy that Blizzard came at. You know, if your friends play, if you can get your friends to play it, there's more of a draw to the game because you want to play with your friends. If you can make a good game, something that has co good content, good graphics, you know, the game is well put together. Um, you're also going to get a draw due to that kind of word of mouth. Uh, and not to put down Guild Wars at all, but I did hear that, you know, the the components to Guild Wars just weren't quite th the same as World of Warcraft. So I'm glad that I made the decision I did in the end. You get what you pay for. In World of Warcraft, you do pay a lot for it, but it's worth it in the end. As long as it doesn't become something that's, you know, unhealthy. That's why they have the tips. 
Like, it, when you load up World of Warcraft and you have the loading bar, and if you're like me, you have 850,000 mods, so you, you sit down, log in, sign in, the loading screen pops up, you go out, make yourself a sandwich, brew up a cup of coffee, come back, you're about halfway through, and you manage to read the tip, and it says things like, bring your friends to Azeroth. But don't forget to bring them outside Azeroth as well. You know, that's good advice. They're not worth more than $15 a month, I mean. That's why I don't take my friends outside of Azeroth anyway. Well, that, that's fair enough. Why, why spend additional date. money when you can just spend $15 and just date them in Azeroth all Well, the time? it's a cheap date when you just get a mage to conjure some food and water for you and chill with your significant other eating conjured food. In one of the empty in, uh, inns in Stormwind or something like that? Exactly. Um, as a side note, uh, we didn't really want, we don't really want to talk about, um, stopping, stopping, because we don't intend to stop anytime soon, because we hope addicted. you don't either, because we're not addicted, we can stop anytime we want, we just don't want to. Oh, man, Railvis, you blew it there, I, I gave you the look, I gave you the look to say we should do that in sync, but you were distracted by IRC I again. blame Cooked Auto on this one, he was okay. blinking at me. You got any other interesting things before I go into this little next bit here? Actually, I do. I have one more quick thing to talk uh, to, to touch on, just because it was kind of what we related to to Guild Wars really quick. Um, Turek said, I was playing Guild Wars, uh, max level 20. I was bored and I was walking in Walmart thinking, I need a good game to play. I saw the game Holy Chorus, so I bought the $1 10-day game card. And from then I was hooked, and uh, I've got many people hooked from those game cards. That's what I like to hear. It. Pushing it's, it on your friends. Yes, pushing it on your friends. Anyway, I was just poking around about this topic because we, we came up with it. We said, oh, yeah, it's a great thing to talk about. It's we original. should definitely talk about that. It's original. Um, and that's what we're about here at Warcraft Anonymous. Originality. originality. 